turn now, if we could, to the issue of perceptions of shock and pitch taking. And from the uh, questions and comments we've received, uh, there's a perception out there that shoplifting is treated as a lesser crime. Uh, and national coverage has been describing shoplifting as being decriminalised, which is clearly not the case. Um, John and, and, uh, has been clear that uh, crime should not pay, and when shoplifters are caught, they should feel the full extent of the law. But I wondered if you could um, maybe address, Chief, the, that view about the, uh, the seriousness of this as an issue. Okay, well, if I can answer with two points to say right now uh, and in the future we will take and we do take shoplifting really seriously in West Mercia Police but I do not blame the public for having that view. Um, police often talk about threat, risk and harm and in the past have had for many reasons to often deprioritise shoplifting because of again a view that it's not as serious as for example a domestic assault that's in progress and that has left to instances for example where shopkeepers have detained the shoplifter and it's taken us too long to get there uh, or whether for example CCTV hasn't been gathered in time and it should have been so I can really understand the frustration from businesses that are trying to make a living not getting the service that they want and I think that will have happened in West Mercia Police in the past and so I sort of understand where that has come from. Um, having said that, we're committed to fighting shoplifting uh, in all fronts you know, I'm not talking about 12 year old boys stealing the sweets, uh, I'm talking about the shoplifting we've discussed so far. Uh, and we have an operation called Operation Lagoon, which is our force response to it. Um, and uh, this financial year, uh, my Dep has launched a sort of pledge where he's looking to ensure that uh, within an hour, uh, if you have someone arrested, uh, or if quicker if there's violence, that you can guarantee you get a, a response from the police if you have someone in custody. Um, we will come within an hour. Uh, if there is suitable evidence, we'll have a reasonable line of inquiry, we will follow those lines of inquiry and we'll do everything we can to bring the offenders to justice. So it's something we're taking uh, really seriously and, uh, and I can understand the frustration and even some of the examples that we may mention today, I look at those and think we should have dealt with those better. So uh, we've just been talking about perception. So it's, um, I'm just interested in maybe some myth busting, Alex, around um, the role that the police might have. Um, I've heard it in, in both the contributions to this session, but more widely in the community. Um, for example, this uh, this view that if it's less than £100 that's being reported, that the police uh, won't follow up. And indeed, a couple of the contributors have quoted that £100 um, figure. Is there a figure out there to which uh, a theft is uh, reported, uh, to which a value has to be over to get a police response? No, there is no figure. But I know because my daughter works in retail, I know that sometimes shops impose a figure, uh, but um, certainly there is no figure and if someone reports a, a crime, we'll take it seriously. Uh, we, we like to say policing, think offender, not offence. So if there was a prolific offender and he's stolen five pounds worth of groceries, well next time he's going to steal a 200 pounds. So we should be getting justice for the shopkeeper even in those instances. Where of course we use much more discretion is from low level offending children in a shop, uh, first time offence would still respond adequately but you wouldn't expect obviously the full weight of the law to come down on those individuals. If um, as Chief, uh, what would you like to be, see the biggest thing done to change that perception around shoplifting being seen as the lesser crime? Um, well, I both, for the public and for us as an organisation, we need to realise that it's a serious crime, it's often organised and if it's not organised it's prolific offenders causing harm to businesses and shopkeepers in our area and we should be tackling it. Uh, and as we said, with those 20 people we arrested, they weren't just uh, retail criminals, they were committing all sorts of offences in other areas including domestic violence, stalking and harassment and criminal damage, um, so we need to take them seriously. And I think you know, we and no doubt the people watching this inherently know when they see a shop, the type of shoplifter who's going in with a bag, perhaps with metal in it, filling up full of stakes and leaving. These are the people who think they can get away with it, uh, and we need to prevent that happening. We see shoplifting as one of those crimes that indicates the health of our service to a large extent. It's a bellwether crime. There's nothing ambiguous about shoplifting. It's clearly against the law. To a certain extent, the offenders who are involved in shoplifting are likely to be involved in other sorts of offending. 
it is the surface realisation of an underlying criminal market for stolen goods. So in so many levels it's indicative of the nature of crime in West Mercia and the quality of our response to it, that there's in no way would we suggest any value of shoplifting because it may be indicative of drug misuse or manipulation or simply obtaining property that isn't someone else's is not a lesser crime.